Hey Falcons, it's Miss Curry and it is your School Director Video Diary for the week of October 12th. I have a lot of things to share with you today uh, and we're going to start with some appreciation. I wanted to start by shouting out some 6th and 7th grade families who came to campus to decorate with chalk and beautify in that way and also help us pull weeds and pick up leaves and really just make sure that campus is looking snazzy for our return. We've also had seniors on campus this week decorating parking spots for their eventual return to campus uh, and those are looking beautiful. So thank you to all of you for doing that as well. All right, some other big updates this week from our friends at uh, Denver Health and Denver Public Schools. You may have noticed that our metrics for our health monitoring of COVID have been getting worse. As such, we are now going to be limiting our in-person programming to a, a maximum 10% of our student population. What that means is for middle school students, if you signed up to be part of our hybrid program, we will not be beginning that full hybrid program yet. Uh, and for high school students, if you signed up for learning centers, we're only able to accept 10% of our student population. And so we may not be able to accommodate as many of you as we initially thought. Ultimately, being on campus with the health and safety measures we have in place is safe. With community spread being really high, having a large number of people on campus would cause a ton of disruption because there's a lot of likelihood that folks will test positive or be in contact with people that are testing positive for COVID pretty frequently. And we don't wanna be in a space where our in-person programming is disrupted on a daily or weekly basis because we just have so many people in the building. So again, we will provide you and your families with some updates by the end of this week about where you're going to land. Um, and that will start, that in-person programming for that 10% of students will start on November 2nd. So I know that things are rapidly changing. It's certainly been challenging for us to manage the day-to-day the -day changes within our plans. Uh, and we're confident that we're going to be able to keep you all safe and hopefully get as many of you on campus as possible for support as you need it. I hope that you have a fantastic fall break. You all are off all next week as we do some professional development and prep the building for those of you that will be in person. So enjoy that week. Spend some time outside. It's supposed to be beautiful. The leaves are beautiful right now. I appreciate each and every one of you and wish you tons of happiness over that break.